And the worry is that um, we've had reform, structural adjustment program in this country before now. There are bound to be dividends from every form of reforms that you carry out. It is the fact that at the end of the reforms, when they are fully implemented, the dividends, uh, everybody begin to get surprised where they divert them to, and like the IMF kind of facility they give to you. There are reforms you are asked to implement. And the idea is at the end of you being able to uh, repay your facility which you have taken from the IMF, which has necessitated the conditionalities, you should be able to sustain them. What we see in Nigeria is once the facilities are paid for, we just go back to business as usual. And so you see that the dividend that should have come from such reforms, uh, at the end of the day, are actually not seen, or perhaps if they are ever seen, they are not visible to the ordinary Nigerians to begin to reckon with. Okay, the, the, the African caucus is actually calling for, I mean, or is actually uh, somehow uh, working with the IMF to see that how they can actually improve resilience in the continent to see how we could possibly uh, address uh, a lot of challenges that we face today. Uh, which areas do you think that they should focus on so that uh, we'll have the desired uh, resilience and, you know, uh, in addressing uh, most of the problems that we face okay. today? All right, thank you. I think one cross-cutting, yes, we, have, we are at different levels of uh, development. There are least developed economies within the African Union itself. There are emerging economies. There are also uh, uh, frontline economies amongst us. So we are all at different levels of development. But one cross-cutting problem for all of us is that of issues of addressing poverty and hunger. Uh, 